The Nemesis V3 Agency Service Area Builder enables local EMS agency administrators to identify the states, counties, census tracts, and zip codes covered by their EMS agency. You can access the Service Area Builder from the Nemesis website at nemesis.org. Go to the Reporting Tools menu, then Reports, then Agency Reports, and find the link to the Service Area Builder. When you visit the Service Area Builder, if you give permission to share your location, it will open to your general location. I'm in the Portland, Oregon area, so it is open to that area on the map. There are several ways to identify your EMS agency service area using this map. The first way is to use the Draw feature. I'll click Draw, and now my cursor has changed to a cross. I can draw an outline of my EMS agency service area. Let's say, for example, that my agency serves this Highway 6 corridor here on the Oregon coast. I can click and start to draw the outline of my EMS agency service area. I can click as many times as I need to and then go back to the beginning and it will finish that shape. After it's finished the shape, it will identify all of the census tracts, zip codes, counties, and states that are covered by my EMS agency service area. On the left-hand side, I can see that uh, my service area is in the state of Oregon. It covers two counties. I can click to expand the list of counties. Click again to shrink the list. It covers these eight census tracts, and it covers these eight zip codes. The second way I can identify my EMS agency service area is by using the select feature. I'm going to clear my service area and start over and choose the select button. Now I can click on a spot in the map, such as the city of Forest Grove, and I can choose to identify Forest Grove as my EMS agency service area. So the Service Area Builder has identified all of the counties, census tracts, and zip codes, and of course the state, that my agency covers by covering the city of Forest Grove. If I need to adjust my service area, I can add additional areas to it, and I can also remove areas that have been previously added. So the draw and select features are the most common ways to identify your EMS agency service area. There are a few advanced options available as well. I'm going to clear my service area again here. I can use the paste feature. And if I know a list of zip codes that my agency serves, I can type the list in here or paste the list from another source and it will identify my service area that way. I could also paste a list of census tract codes, county codes, or state codes. Or I could even paste a GIS shape that I may have uh, obtained from my county or city GIS department. Lastly, I can choose the Import button to import from a Nemesis demographic data set XML file that I already have to build my EMS agency service area. So this is a service area that I imported from a Nemesis demographic dataset file that's on the border of Idaho and Washington State in the Coeur d'Alene area. Once I've imported it, I see that it serves the state of Idaho and the state of Washington with counties, census tracts, and zip codes within each state. At this point, I can choose to print the information that I've built in my service area by choosing the Print button. The printout will show a list of all of the counties, census tracts, and zip codes that my agency serves within each state. The last page of the printout will show a map of my EMS agency service area. I can use the information provided here and then go to my own EPCR system and enter this information in my agency demographics. As an advanced feature, I can also download this EMS agency service area. The download is an XML file that's based on the Nemesis demographic dataset structure. 
For additional information about using the Nemesis V3 Agency Service Area Builder, see the user guide link within the builder.